So in this video, I'll be explaining the science of lava lamps and then show you how to make your own from materials around the house. So let's get started. You've probably seen or heard of a density tower before. It's a visual representation of how objects with a lower density will float while objects with a higher density will sink, like the ping pong ball versus the bolt. In electric lava lamps, the light bulb heats up the waxy solid until it expands as a liquid, which is less dense than the water, so it rises. As it rises, it cools down and becomes more dense again and falls back down to be reheated and the cycle repeats. It works as long as you have the major components, liquid A, liquid B, and some sort of disturbance to make the liquids move. In my experiment, I will be using water for liquid A and assorted oils for liquid B. I use Alka-Seltzer tablets, but salt or baking soda would work just as well. I also colored the water to make the lava lamp effect easier to see. You can use any container you want. I use these Talenti ice cream jars because I had seven of them and they're all the same size. We're not going for exact measurements here, but I used approximately 350 milliliters of oil and just under 200 milliliters of water. If you've ever made salad dressing before, then you know that oil and water are insoluble. They don't mix. This is because the oil is less dense than the water and therefore sits atop it rather than mix with it. I wanted to see whether putting oil or water first would have any effect, so these two containers are both filled with vegetable oil, but red I put 200 milliliters of water first, while blue I put 200 milliliters of oil first. As you can see, the blue dye had no trouble getting to the water, while the red dye actually got stuck in the oil for a little bit. Now I just continue my experiment by adding 10 drops of different food coloring to each container. Each container got one Alka-Seltzer tablet that was broken into pieces to increase surface area and speed up the process. So what's happening is as the Alka-Seltzer tablet dissolves, it releases gas that naturally goes up because gas rises, pulling the water and food coloring up through the oil in order to get out. But because oil and water are insoluble, they don't mix together, but instead create this bubbling effect. Well, that's it. I hope you enjoyed learning about lava lamps and seeing how fun and easy science can be. If you decide to make your own lava lamps, let me know in the comments, and I'll be sure to go over and watch it. Again, I can't thank you enough for your unbelievable support and understanding. I'm so sorry, this is so delayed. I actually recorded this in September, and I'm not uploading until now. But if you keep being patient with me, I'll upload more videos if you want. I hope it was worth the wait. 
I try my hardest to make it as fun and educational as possible. So if you want to see more, subscribe. So till next time, bye.